Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, another night of action here with Impact Pro Wrestling, Big Ace at the table with me, my good friend, Zach. Take his, what's up? Dude, it's great to be back. Hey, it's been a minute. We are back with some Impact Pro Wrestling action. Daddy Stutzel making his way to the ring for our opening bout. Got a big one to kick the show off. We've got some great action for you guys tonight, live from Franklin, junior high school i keep wanting to say middle school I'm, I'm right there with you man i'm right there with you but yeah it's daddy cecil my friend has a very tall task tonight would you want to go up against a man that looks like that I am afraid to just talk to a man that looks like that uh, when we see him backstage. So the death dealer making his way to the ring. But Daddy C, look, he's ready to go, though. But I don't know how anybody can be ready to go when you've got that intimidation coming to the ring in the death dealer. Yeah, I don't know either, my friend. That You know, Daddy C, so he's very confident in the ring, though. So I appreciate that for him. Yeah, you know, I guess maybe that's the plan. You got to come into this being confident when you know you got an opponent like the Death Dealer getting ready to come in. Who I tell you, every time we see him, it's just getting bigger, better, stronger, badder, meaner. It's insane. Yeah, it really is, dude. Every time we see the Death Dealer, he improves vastly. And yeah, like you said, bigger, stronger, faster. I would not want to be Daddy Cecil at this moment. Not at all as we get ready to kick off action here in Des Moines, Iowa. Impact Pro Wrestling coming your way. And there's the bell. It is time to kick off the action here. Daddy Cecil, the death dealer, squaring up in the middle of the ring right now. Let's let's rock and roll, dude. I'm ready. Let's go. Tie up middle of the ring. That's a bold move by Daddy Seesaw. I mean, uh, definitely uh, <laughs> outsized by the Death Dealer. And we're seeing that as he pushes Daddy Seesaw into that corner. Remember, though, he does have the five count to utilize, and he backs away very. Oh, like, like I said, intimidation. Intimidation, man. We get a break. Uh, 
splitting them up. Daddy Cecil coming out of that corner, locking it up again with the Death Dealer right in that's the middle of the ring. Very brave by Daddy Cecil. I'm not going to lie. That's just not – if it if were me, I don't know if that would be my strategy. Ooh, ooh. A little insult to injury from Daddy Cecil throwing some uh, paws on the chest of the Death Dealer. He does not look amused at I think, all. I think that even kind of shocked Death Dealer for a bit. <laughs> yeah, kind of like who uh, has the balls to do that to me in the middle <laughs> of the ring. And again now, lock up, middle of the ring. Daddy Cecil keeps trying to oh, test there we that go. straight there we go. Death Dealer throws that into a headlock, controlling him in the middle of the ring, ripping that Ooh. fighter. Ooh, big blows to the vid section. Another punch to the bread basket. There. Ooh. Reversal into that headlock. Daddy Cecil in control now, but Death Dealer throwing him off. Daddy Cecil getting a little cocky, Zach. He really is, but you know what? That sequence wasn't bad for him. I don't blame him for being a little cocky at the moment. He's kind of throwing the Death Dealer off guard a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he's he's calming the tempo down. He's not letting da uh, Death Dealer just come out and just brutalize him like he could. Uh, he's really slowing Death Dealer down. Another lockup. Death Dealer showing that straight. Oh, ooh, Danny Cecil ooh, turns ooh. around, throws him into the corner, and hands to the chest. And now the shirt comes off. It must be business. Oh, he can't. Oh. And it seems like the ladies here don't mind. Oh, he oh, throws the shirt oh. at Death Dealer's face and takes uh -oh. that advantage. Uh -oh. Does not work, though. Oh. Death Dealer throwing blows and. Whoa! Oh, tosses oh. him over into the other corner. You know what he did there? He woke up the bear, man. He woke. Oh! Ooh, a huge chop. He woke up the bear. And another oh. toss across the ring. You can see the chest of the death dealer nice and red, which can only anger him more. Daddy Cecil taking a timeout outside the ring there. It's prob probably smart. His chest has to be on fire right now just look at the coloring he's already getting there it's nice bright red he woke up a very angry death dealer who is now going to chase him we got death dealer going outside chasing daddy cecil a little cat and mouse game we got here as daddy cecil makes his way back into the ring death dealer coming right out and all oh, axe handle to the back of the death dealer smart strategy on the part of oh, oh. famous sir by daddy cecil Big move, another axe handle to the back. Right now, Daddy Cecil in control. Got Death Dealer in that corner. Very surprising. I did not, honestly, I did not expect this from Daddy Cecil. Color me impressed. Again, it's come out with confidence and take control of the tempo of the match. That's how you apparently can control Death Ooh, Dealer. And look I, at that. Oh. Rubbing that forehead on that top rope. Another knee to the midsection. Scraping the eyes again. Oh. I'm really shocked here, Ace, that Daddy Cecil has taken full advantage here. Death Dealer stuck in those ropes. Daddy oh. Cecil comes and throws the bottom onto the back and rubbing it in for insult. Look at this. Working the hips. <laughs> uh, fans are not too impressed <laughs> with the hip movement from Daddy Cecil, but he's loving it. Death Dealer on his hands and knees trying to get to his feet, trying to get back in this match. Yeah, I don't, I don't, oh. oh. Big block, oh, big knee to the chin, oh, and a huge oh. clothesline by the Death Dealer, covered two. Smart move by the Death Dealer there, there to go for the quick pinfall. Two count, that's the why Death Dealer is so dangerous, Zach. He can come out of nowhere with his power and his strength, and, and it can end the match right there. Excellent point, Ace. You know, the Death Dealer, he's just one of those guys that he has like a trigger. You hit that trigger and he goes off and forget about it. It's over. Referee breaking them up in the action, getting them out of the corner. Oh, Ooh, Daddy Cecil driving oh. the face into his knee. And then a huge move to bring down Death Dealer like a neck breaker there. Gets that two count. Can't finish it though. That was some smart work by Daddy Cecil there. Again with the hips, and oh, he misses that big elbow. Death Dealer moving out of the way. Both men coming up to their feet. Oh, a big knee to the midsection, then to the chin. And we got another huge clothesline by the Death Dealer, and he is feeling it. Daddy Cecil back to his feet right away, though. Goes for the clothesline, misses it, and oh, spine buster, middle of the ring. 
We got a cover. Ooh. Ooh, I thought that was three, Zach. I, I thought that was three. I don't know about you, Ace, but I love a good spine buster, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. We got Death Dealer making his way to the top rope. What do we got going on here? Oh! Goes for the axe handle. Misses. We get a kick to the midsection. Oh! oh look at that! Butter. We nice. got a winner, Death Dealer! Wow. The Cotter gets the pin center ring. Daddy Cecil can go backstage and shake his hips back there. <laughs> I got to say, though, I was impressed by Daddy Cecil. I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't seen him work a ton, but I was impressed there. To kind of hold your own against a man like the Death Dealer is not an easy task to do. I thought he more than held his own against the Death Dealer in that contest. Yeah, you know what? Daddy Cecil surprised me tonight, came out, had a game plan, and for a good portion of this match, it worked. But again, the Death Dealer, just so dangerous and so strong. And when he gets those quick chances, he will end that match. And he did it just right there. Death Dealer victorious in our opening bout here in Des Moines, Iowa. Please. Franklin Junior High School, new venue that we're trying out here for Impact Pro Wrestling. We're glad to be here. We're glad for all our fans in attendance. And a little, little rainy today. Yeah, dude, but dude, we got a great mat card tonight. Later on in the evening, we have a ladder match. We've we got get, a ladder we get match. To call a ladder match. We got a ladder match. We've got a really great tag match with uh, the Legend Killers versus Zeke Dynamics and Jimmy Wild. With Jimmy Wild, Zeke Dynamics giving us a banger of a match oh, yeah. a few months back. So yeah. yep. excited for that action-packed card here as our announcer Chad Olson gets back in the ring. <laughs> Oh, all right, Big Ace. We have now the Legend Killers making their way to the ring. Is there more? Is there a more legendary tag team in Impact Pro Wrestling than the Legend Killers? I mean, you know, it, it, it's something when they name themselves the Legend Killers, but this is a team that over the years here in Impact Pro Wrestling has backed up the fact that they are the Legend Killers. Sparrow, uh -oh, Maddie uh -oh. Star making their way to the ring. Zach, hopefully he doesn't come this way. I, I was just. <laughs> I was just thinking, is he going to be making his way over to our table? But yeah, for my it looks sake, like hopefully he doesn't. Well, Sparrow's coming our way, but Sparrow over, but doesn't have a problem with me. As far as we know. As far as we know. But yeah, thankfully, Maddie stayed away from the table, at least for now. But yeah, like I said, these guys are one of the most legendary tag teams in Impact Pro Wrestling history. I can't think of a team that has won the tag team titles more than they have. You, you were right, but they're going against a team that we just said. Stellar individuals in the ring alone together tonight. First time. And the, and the cool thing is, I don't know if you just heard Chad Olsen, their team name is actually Wild Dynamics, and I love that. I mean, what a great team name of the team. I think that's such a great... It fits, their, it fits them perfectly. And yeah, we know Jimmy... Jimmy's probably looking for somewhere very high up to jump off of. Yeah, no, this is going to be an action-packed match. Jimmy Wild, Zeke Dynamics, there's not much these two can't do alone. Now together, we are in for a treat. This Zach right here could be match of the night tonight of tonight's show here. Uh, look at that. The Legend Killer's getting out of the ring. As and we got uh, Wild Dynamics making their entrance here. One, one more thing I want to take a note of, Ace, too, is the winners go on directly to face the Max Chill Mafia. So you're going to win, and you're going to automatically get into the title shot. Yeah, so someone's pulling double duty tonight out of the winner of this match, which is a good thing for Max Cole Mafia, but here we go. We're going to get this match going. Who, looks like we've got Maddie Starr and Jimmy Wild oh. going to be the first ones in the ring for this one. Jimmy Wild, what a year. Oh, my gosh, man. He's what had a year. 
he's had some insane matches all around Iowa. Like it, it's amazing what he's done. If you want to know what I'm talking about, just go YouTube search Jimmy Wild. You'll see some of the crazy stuff he's done this year. All right, as we get ready for this match to get going, again, could be a contender for match of the night. Packed house here yeah. in Franklin Junior High School, Des Moines, Iowa, tie up in the middle of the ring. Maddie Starr just pushing Jimmy into that corner and just throwing hands into the Love face. It. Love it. That's the legend of Maddie Starr, though. He is a vicious, vicious character. Referee breaks him up, pulls him out of the corner. Maddie Starr, a lot of talking going on. Jimmy Wilde's ready to go, though. Talking may not phase Jimmy Wilde in this match. That might not help Maddie Starr like it sometimes does. No, I mean, Jimmy Wilde is not easily intimidated. So if you're going to try and intimidate Jimmy Wilde, it ain't going to work. Oh, big chop from Jimmy. That, did you just see that hurt referee Christian? I mean, that hurt him too. Maddie Starr, though, kind of looking like he maybe didn't feel that as much. Or he's just really good at pretending. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Here we go. We're going to get a little test of strength here. Maddie Starr is calling for it. I, I love a good old-fashioned test of strength, too. It always takes me back to WrestleMania 6 with Hogan and the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. They're going to lock oh. up hands here. Oh. There they go. Who's going to get that advantage? Both men fighting for that advantage in the middle of the ring. Maddie Starr throwing that oh, leg behind him oh, and batting oh. Jimmy Wilde over onto the mat. Oh, if he gets those shoulders down, we could have a quick pick. Yeah. That'd be and he kicks oh, the legs oh. out, gets on top, too. Oh. He may be a dirty player. Oh, oh. oh, oh Maddie Starr. Uh, maybe a dirty player in that ring, but you also got to give him some credit. Sometimes a very strategic man, and it always can work out in his favor. We saw that right there. Almost a two or a, a pin. Right off that test of strength. Jimmy Wild though, controlling Maddie, hip toss. Still got him in that headlock. Yeah, well, you know, like he's like I said, the legend killers and Maddie Starr included in, with that tag team, he's been in this game for so long. Ever since I've been going to shows in Iowa, there hasn't been a time where Maddie Starr has not been a part of something in the part of in Iowa. Right now he's got Jimmy Wild locked up in that headlock. He's gonna go off those ropes. Coming back at Ooh, oh, nice shoulder block. Drives Jimmy Wilde down to the mat. Wow. Maddie Starr, a little bit of a uh, bigger boy than Jimmy Wilde. He, will, he does have the size on him a little bit. Oh, oh look at that arm drag. See what Another I mean? one. See what I mean? It's very, oh, nice drop kick by Jimmy Wilde. It is very hard to intimidate Jimmy Wilde. And the quickness of Jimmy Wilde. Oh, oh, look at that. Fan has to lift him over another arm toss, and he locks up that shoulder there, keeping Maddie Starr on the ground. Jimmy Wild in complete control right now. There's one thing I've noticed about Jimmy Wild: the more and more that we see him, every time out, he's gaining more and more confidence in his ability. He definitely is as he goes to that corner, and here we go. We got Zeke Dynamics making his first appearance in this match. Keeps that wrist lock on Maddie Starr. Maddie throwing a knee in though. And a smart move by Maddie Starr as he brings Zeke Dynamics into his corner. Tag Sparrow into the match. Goes Ooh. for a punch, misses, and Zeke is on fire right now, taking out both legend killers in the ring. A lot of fight in Zeke. There's definitely no shortage of that. Oh, my. Right onto the floor, and then a kick right to the butt, not to the shin, <laughs> not to the side. Just hitting every part oh. of Sparrow he can, but oh, oh, oh what a hurt. Ah. Flips him over, throws some hands. Jimmy Wild getting all fired up. Oh, big drop kick by Zeke Dynamics, and it looks like he's gonna. Oh, Whoa. oh look at that! Two almost wow. got the cover there. Sparrow desperately needing a tag from Matty Star. Zeke is pulling out all the stops in this one, man. Wild Dynamics doing a great job of keeping Sparrow away from his tag partner. Let's remember, though, the winner of this match direct right after will face the Max Chill Mafia. So, yeah, they have all this energy now, but they're going to need to save something. Yeah, I mean, you know, game plan for a match like this is end it as quick as possible. And I think Matty Star and Sparrow are a good team that they will drag this out. Uh-oh. Jimmy wants oh. to fly. Oh! Uh -oh. oh, oh, oh. Matty Star pushing Jimmy Wild off the top turnbuckle. Hey, Matty Star was the legal man. We saw in that last little Irish whip. Matty made the tag. Matty's the legal man. 
That was legit. Oh, Sparrow throwing Jimmy Wilde's head into that ring apron, throws him back into the ring. Legend killers for the moment. Looks like they regain control. Maddie Starr with a foot to the back of Jimmy Wilde's neck and just pushing him down onto that mat. Again, that's the experience of Maddie Starr, man. Maddie Starr got Jimmy Wilde on those ropes. Oh, huge fist to the back of Jimmy Wilde. We heard that one all the way over here at our stable. <laughs> With headphones on, that we heard that one, man. Rough. Yeah, Jimmy's going to be feeling that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, you can hear the skin get hit there. Oh, that's not going to feel good tomorrow. Jimmy Wilde trying to get that tag. Maddie Star, look at him just talking to Zeke Dynamic, just teasing him, just teasing him. Oh, such an old school tactic there by Maddie Star. Now we got the tag over there. Sparrow makes his way back in, and oh, Ooh. elbow to the ribs. A little, a little toss over the shoulder there, off the rope, and oh, another elbow to the back of Jimmy Wilde. Sparrow with the pin too. Oh. Close two count. Zeke almost in there to break it up. Oh. Just ground and pound. Jimmy Wilde is in trouble here, Zach. He is in the center of the ring. He is nowhere near his corner, and the legend killers are just controlling him right now. Yeah, they really are. I mean, and this is, again, what you want to do. But like you said, somebody has got to end this here soon. Crowd getting behind Jimmy Wild and the Wild Dynamics. Ooh. Will it work as Sparrow still just keeping Jimmy down? Look at this Maddie Star with the foot on top and oh, it shook the whole ring. I thought it was going to fall down. <laughs> Throwing Jimmy into Maddie's boot. We get a tag. Maddie Star back in. Quick tags by the Legend Killers. Yeah, the Legend Killers again are just doing what they do, man. They're a veteran tag team here in Impact Pro Wrestling for a reason. Oh. oh. Two count for the legend killers there. Maddie Star nearly ending this contest. Jimmy Wilde just barely able to kick out, and he desperately needs that tag. Yeah, he almost got a little help from Zeke there, but yeah, that was close, man. That was now he's trying to get the crowd behind him, but Maddie Star is right back on top of him, man. Zeke reaching out over that top rope, wanting that tag. Maddie Star though keeping Jimmy Wilde in the legend killers corner. Again, I always say this whenever we see Maddie Starr in here, and that is maybe the talking's a little too much, but right now, though, <laughs> Sparrow trying to take advantage of the uh, distracted referee, and it did not work out, but now Maddie Starr getting that advantage back on Jimmy Wilde and throws him over, but Jimmy lands on his feet. Can he get the tag? Oh! So close, Maddie holding on to that foot for dear life. Zeke is trying to reach as far out as he can, too. So close. Look how close he is to that tag. Can Jimmy get there as Maddie Star controlling that ankle? Zeke Jimmy turns it tag. over, pushes him out. Oh, 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 oh. Sparrow's in. He oh. got the tag as well. Big clothesline. Big elbow. Ducks that one. And oh, look at that. A kick on the Maddie Star. It goes to the clothesline. Sparrow misses. Uh oh. He tries to go under. Zeke catches him. And oh, oh. suplex him. Bridge two. Oh, oh, so close. Zeke Dynamics nearly ending this match with just a flurry of offense wow. on the Legend Killers. That's what I call a hot tag if there ever was one, my friend. Maddie Starr looking dazed. Scooped up and big oh. body slam. What could he be? Uh, what could Zeke be looking to do right here? Well, we know Zeke likes to fly. It would not surprise me. <laughs> and that's exactly what he's looking to do. Zeke wants to fly. We got Zeke up on top and oh, oh he goes for it. Misses it just barely as Maddie Star gets oh. out of the way. Giving him that chance to get to catch oh. his breath, maybe even get to his corner, but Sparrow not there. So there's no tag for the legend killer. Maddie's gonna what's he doing? He's setting him up. Jimmy struggling outside. Maddie says it's time to end the match. Picks him up. Oh, Zeke fighting it. Gets down and reversal oh, into a pin two. two. Three. three. It's oh, over. Oh, he got it. Oh. He got it. It is over. Matty Starr loses to Zeke Dynamics in a reversal roll up. The legend. Look at Matty Starr. is shocked. He is shocked. What a matchup.
What a matchup, man. Sparrow doesn't know what happened. Oh, no, look at this. Matty Star. He's oh. mad. He goes after Zeke Dynamics and gets thrown out of the ring for his trouble. Oh, wait, my God. Wait, wait, here, wait, comes, wait, wait. here comes the Maxwell Mafia Tag Team Champions making their way into the ring. And they go right after Wild Dynamics. Look at that. Max Chill, Adam Love in there just taking it to these guys, not even giving them a chance to take a breather. Zeke goes flying out the ring. Adam Love choking out Jimmy Wild with his coat in the corner. Smart, though. I mean, that's what these guys had to do. I said that last match had it to end quickly because now all advantage to the Max Chill Mafia. Smart move by our tag team champions. You to also just waste got Brandon the Shake Eubanks here at ringside, so do not forget him as a factor in this matchup. Definitely the wild card walking around out there holding those titles. The Shank. We got Max Chill holding Jimmy Wild in the corner. Tags in Adam Love. Adam Love, a gentleman who uh, has some very certain thoughts on music. <laughs> you know, I think we hashed that out, though. We're all right. You know, the Max Chill <laughs> Mafia, they're starting to become a legendary tag team here at Impact Pro Wrestling. Oh, they look are. at this. Referee distracted by Adam Love. Max Chill goes for the choke on Jimmy Wild with a T-shirt. You know, the Max Show Mafia, they are the tag team champions for a reason. So I really, at the moment, can't say anything bad about them. You can't. And they've been holding those titles since they won them, and they've been smart. And right now, Jimmy Wilde on those robes, Adam Love holding them there. Adam Love definitely loves to talk. Adam Love definitely has a chip on the shoulder. He won't lie to you about that one. Right now, though, he's got Jimmy in the corner. Goes to whip him across. Reversal. Adam Love gets thrown into that corner. Jimmy Wilde trying to get that, that fight back. Oh. Goes for the splash. Misses. Mac Chill gets the tag. And look at this. We got the shank over by our table. Ladies of all time. There we go. The shank. Are we live? We are live, yeah. shank. My, look at my boys in there. Just go. Out of baby Max. I taught him that. I, no. I learned that when I was in county one time. Okay. I picked up for jaywalking. <laughs> right. Well, last time I did on it, 12 dabs, hard tab, bro. Uh, um, uh, hard times. Uh, uh, Come on. Hey, get, no, two, you know what? You guys are distracting me. I'm done talking to you guys. Okay. Well, get back to action there, Shank. Little visit from the Shank. Part of the Max Schill Mafia. He's got those tag team titles. <laughs> Letting the fans touch them so they can know what they're missing. Jimmy Wilde, though, is in a world of trouble right now. Look at this Ted, double team in the corner there. Setting them up, Max Chill and Adam Love. And oh, look at that big suplex up and over. Adam Love goes for the cover, middle of the ring. Two. Oh, two Again, Max out. Chill, Mafia there, are they are the fresh ones. You know, uh, Wild Dynamics just had a very grueling matchup against the Legend Killer. This is true. This is true. And Jimmy Wild, uh, he took a good beating that first match. Yeah. And he is, uh, it's not looking great for him right now. Look at this. Adam Love just playing. Just playing with uh, Wild Dynamics right now. Jimmy Wild really needs to get some offense going so he can get out of this match and get uh, Zeke Dynamics in there. I, I got to tell you, though, the Max Chill Mafia has really been doing some wonderful things as the tag champs. Again, not oh. always maybe the cleanest things, but oh, Adam Love makes that tag on its way. Oh, here we go. And Jimmy Wild gets the tag. Zeke is in there. Big clothesline, another clothesline. Max Chill look, gets back up and a Ooh. big drop kick. One cover on Max one, Chill. Two. two. He kicks out. That tag was needed to be made, but here we go. Look, Jimmy Wilde, he don't care. He's wow. going to get tagged right back in. A little double team action here, but oh, wait, wait, what, what's going on over uh -oh. here? Look at uh -oh. Shank. Shank is getting on the rope, distracting Jimmy Wilde and the referee. And Matt. Max Chill throws Zeke Dynamics out of the ring. And look, he's just waiting. Waiting for his prey. Oh! Boot. Oh! Plants him down. Cover. Two and three. Oh. It is over. Give the assist to the Shank, but the Max Chill Mafia retains and st still your Impact Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Look at Max Chill. Wow. Throwing Zeke to the ground. Adam Love throwing some kicks out there on uh, both of those gentlemen. And the Max Chill Mafia couldn't be any happier with themselves, Zach. Again, that match had all the favor in the world to the Max Chill Mafia. Wild Dynamics just had a grueling matchup against the Legend Killers. But give credit where credit is due. 
because Adam Love and Max Chill retain the Impact Pro Wrestling tag, and with a little blow of the kiss to the camera there from good old Adam Love. I don't see them losing these titles anytime soon. Jimmy and Zeke, let's hear it for those guys. So two matches in a row, wonderful action. This could be the start of a powerful tag team here in Impact Pro Wrestling. Yeah, that wild was, dynamics. Yeah, that's a team I want to. I hope we get to see keep rolling, man. That was good, good stuff. And coming up next, dude, we got a great contest. One of our favorite guys, one of Jr.'s favorite guys from the Two Count Meet Comedy Meets Wrestling podcast. We got Justin Decent going up against Bryce Jordan coming up. And, yeah, we know how much JR, our buddy JR loves Bryce Jordan. This is true. And, uh, yeah, my, my co-host from uh, our Tuesday Night Podcast, a big fan of the Golden God. But I'll tell you what, big match right here, though, because number one contenders match for the IPW title. Yeah, and both of these gentlemen are former IPW champions themselves. Let's welcome back to the referee, He, the, and there he is, Bryce Jordan, the Golden God, making his way to the ring, fresh uh, uh, off losing his title. I was just going to say, he does look a little empty without the title. I hate to say it. But the title did look good on him. I mean, I'm not, I hate to say it, but it is what it is. And now this is Bryce's chance to get back into that title. I mean, we know what happened in January. He was not, he was convinced that the Lone Star Double J was James Jeffries. And it turned out to be right. James was supposed to be banned from wrestling in Des Moines for a year. Turns out he ends up being this Lone Star Double J character. And yeah. I didn't think I didn't think Lone Star Double J was James Jeffries. I, 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 you know, I talked to him. I was like, yeah, this isn't James Jeffries. I was wrong. I was all wrong. We should have listened to the Golden Guy. But. I thought it was maybe a distant cousin, a long lost twin. I don't know. I mean, these guys in masks come from parts unknown. And here's the man of the hour, Justin Decent. That's right, an IPW legend. Justin Decent, this could be a huge, big win for Bryce if he puts down this legendary IPW uh, athlete. Justin Decent, a fan favorite. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Justin Decent having a great time with our IPW fans here in Des Moines, Iowa. Justin loves the fans, man. That's the one thing. And he loves the camera. <laughs> But is Justin Decent having maybe just a little too much fun right now? Because Bryce Jordan has been, ever since he became the Golden God, it's been a whole new version of Bryce Jordan. But at the same time, Big Ace, we know when it comes time to work, Justin works. This is true. And he's got a big task in front of him. Former champion, a young guy, got all the momentum behind him right now. He's looking to get that title back. And we've got some talking going on in the ring between these two as they point to that belt hanging up there. Because, again, ladder match later tonight. Yeah, dude, and that ladder match is going to be insane. Of course, we're talking about AJ Smoon versus Ricky Bronson versus James Jeffries for the IPW title in a ladder match. I've seen ladders kind of spread out all through the venue here tonight. I'm, it's an exciting night, and you know those three guys have got to have their eye on this one because whoever wins that match, this is who's next in line. Most definitely. Got to think a lot of eyes from back uh, from the locker room are out watching this one. Again, you've got a legend <laughs> and you've got a bright star currently for IPW in the ring right now. And I'll tell you what, the fans are ready for this one. A lot, a lot of yelling going on here. Uh-oh. Golden God's trying to, trying to take control of the crowd here. He's asking Justin Decent to shake his hand in the middle of the ring. Sportsmanship, look at that. Oh, oh but you cannot trust the Golden God as he throws some fists right into Justin Decent's face. Uh -oh. But, uh-oh. Oh! 
I was going to say, if there's one person you should not trust, it's definitely the Golden God. That kind of surprised me there by Justin for a little bit. Oh! Big suplex over uh, there by Justin Decent. The size definitely is going in Justin Decent's favor tonight, though. I will give you that. It, it, size and experience. Justin's been around for a long time, my friend. He's got the Golden God in a headlock center of the ring. Oh, look at this. Bryce oh. with his uh, feet on the ring, so he's going to have to break the, the hole he's got. But, oh. Smart move, utilizing that five count, though, by Justin. Yeah, and also just dropping Bryce Jordan on his face <laughs> off those ropes. Goes right back to that headlock and just locking him in in that middle of the ring. That's where the size for Justin comes into. <laughs> uh oh, oh he, he's looking at his fingers. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, look at this. Was that a wet willy? I think it was. I think it was an old-fashioned wet willy. Did we just see a wet willy? <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in wrestling. I'm not sure I've ever seen a wet willy before. <laughs> just driving. Bryce. Oh. A lot of impact in those last three moves right to the tailbone of Bryce Jordan. That makes it hard to sit later. <laughs> that does, and he'll be feeling that tomorrow morning. <laughs> Justin is fired up, man. Justin Decent having a grand old time here with our IPW fans as he's controlling this matchup with just Bryce Jordan. Got that wrist lock on him in the middle of the ring. Bryce Jordan kicks it, reverses it. He's now got Justin Decent in that wrist lock and just twisting it. Justin Decent goes for that reversal. Now he's got his arm locked in there. Bryce Jordan going to the ropes, trying to get oh. that separation in between the two, and he gets it. Goes for that big punch. And Bryce, oh, look at that. He goes off the ropes and throws Justin Decent down, keeping control with that headlock. What's he doing now? Rolls him over. Look at the technical skill of Bryce Jordan oh. as he just drives Justin Decent's face into that one. I give, Ring apron. I give Bryce a ton of credit. He's not letting Justin's size intimidate him. No what do you mean? Goes for the pin, but he's under the rope. Referee Great. letting him know that he can't get the cover right there. Great work by referee Christian Hansen there, man. Christian uh, Hansen's got his hands full with this one, too. Yeah, that he really does. He really does have his hands full. Not with just this one, but the rest of the evening as well. We have an absolutely stacked card here tonight. And Bryce Jordan feeling pretty good about himself in the ring as he puts those number ones up. But look at that. He takes a punch to the midsection, punch to the face, Ooh. another punch. Look at this. Just a decent throwing, throwing fist just all over Ooh. Bryce Jordan's face. But Bryce able to get away, push that uh, separation in between. He's going to throw Justin Decent off the rope. Oh. And a big elbow puts Justin Decent on the ground. And he poses for the crowd. The crowd don't really care. No, not at all. But... Bryce is very cocky, so I, again, I appreciate that. Oh, just more damage to the back of Justin Decent. But <laughs> in the back of him. <laughs> but that tailbone. Oh. Bryce Jordan throws Justin Decent into that corner. Decent really needs to, to get out of that corner, and he really needs to try to find some offense here, because right now, Bryce Jordan is in control. That he is, man, and which has really, really surprised me. You know, again, he's not letting the size difference. Well, there's the size. Oh! Oh, look at that. He just steam, steam rolls over, big elbow. I was, I was just getting ready to talk about the size difference not really affecting Bryce all that much. And then just oh, oh, look at that little, little, little small package pile driver throws him down, gets the cover, three. and oh, almost oh, got I thought three. that was three. That was close. I think Justin Decent thought that was three. Look at him. He's uh, but oh, he says, nah, I'm all right. I got something else up my sleeves. I'll tell you what, though. Bryce Jordan, former champion in all kinds of trouble right now. This has been the Justin Decent show so far. Justin Decent, also a former champion. Oh, Ooh. Bryce Jordan kicks that shin out. Lowers Ooh. that elbow. Oh, oh big shiny knee. wizard. Oh, that big knee to the face of Justin Decent. 
Like Bryce is surprised. I don't know. I don't think he uh, thought Justin would kick out of that. Yeah, he I generally didn't think he was gonna get a. Uh, uh. And as you can see by the camera action there, I don't think again Bryce did not. Bryce thought it was three. But right now, the Golden God is jabbing it up with the fans here. Could be wasting his time as he slowly goes out to get on top of that rope. Justin Decent laid out middle of the ring. The Golden God on oh, top. What's uh -oh. he gonna do? He goes off. To the oh! Oh! Gone. Oh, oh, look at that though. Justin Deuce just throws him right off in the wow. building of his fears. Wow. I did not expect that kick out, man. That was a impactful frog splash. You gotta have you gotta wonder, Golden God's probably thinking, what does he gotta do to put Justin Decent away? Middle of the ring, he's gonna oh. go up, but no, Justin Decent blocks it. Justin getting a last little bit of wind here, man. Another block. Up. Oh! The Golden God on his stomach. Both men down on the ring canvas here. Who will be the first to their feet? Referee starts the 10 count. We got a pack house here tonight in Des Moines, Iowa. Impact Pro Wrestling. Bryce Jordan, the Golden God. Just a decent in the ring. We are at a... Uh, Six count right now to get these two to their feet. Who will be the first? Both stirring. Bryce Jordan, the first one up. Uh, Justin Decent right after Ooh. him. They meet in the ring. Look at that. A punch, a kick, another punch. But Justin Decent comes back with a huge hit. Ooh. And now we are trading blows in the middle of the ring. Decent with a big punch. Taking Bryce Jordan off his feet. Oh! oh drops him on his back. Belly to belly, slams him down. Just a decent, got that Dar momentum. Can he finish it? Though? Darn near knocked Christian Hansen off his feet with that slam. Oh, uh oh, Vader bombs up and oh, oh! big splash. Two. Oh, he almost got it. Just a decent, almost found himself with a title chance. Wow. What a matchup we're seeing here right now, my friend. We are lucky. And again, thank you to all our fans who braved the severe weather. Tornadoes in the area today as we were getting ready for tonight's show. We got a great packed crowd here. And this is some oh. nonstop action going on tonight. Look at this. Bryce Jordan goes up. And oh! oh! That's got to be it. He That's takes be decent it. down. One, One two. two. Oh! Ooh. He kicked out. Bryce Jordan has no idea how he did that. Wow. I have no idea how he did that. What is it going to take to put Justin Decent away? Unbelievable, man. What a matchup we are witnessing here. It shows how important that IPW heavyweight title is. Bryce Jordan, he's setting Justin Decent up. Could be a pedigree. Justin Decent fights him off up on the shoulders. Oh, oh he slams him down. We got a car. One, two. Oh, he gets it. Justin oh. Decent. Oh, oh, my God. Right in the center of the ring. Justin Decent has a chance to become an IPW champion once again. So you see him pointing up to that belt as IPW heavyweight title will be defended in a ladder match. So that belt is hanging high above the ring all evening. Justin Decent is going to be very interested now in our main event. What a huge win for the legend Justin Decent here tonight in Des Moines, Iowa. The future title shot coming his way and a disappointing loss for the Golden God. Yes, but what a hard-fought battle for the Golden God. That was absolutely just a great matchup. That was that was something. What a battle between these two. That was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful matchup. And, man, we're still just getting going here. That's right. Stellar matchup right there. And we're going to go right into our next match. Chad Olsen, ring announcer, makes his way into the ring as we get ready to kick it off with another match here at Franklin Junior High School. So they're going to probably get out of the ring on this street fight here. I don't know where they're going to go, but I know, and I know he's got packs. Be careful, be careful, but try to get it out of the way. Not here with the public. 
Zach, are you ready for a street fight? Street fight with our buddy Malice. Woo I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm getting giddy. I am excited. Here we go. The challenger for making his way out, Gab, Gable Galileo. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh, he's got a mic. Does he think he's Mr. Kennedy? Um, I don't know. Apparently, he does think he's a king with that crown on his head, but the fans not loving uh, Galileo right now. A lot of talk for a man who's about to go through hell and back when he's taking on the monster Malice. And we've seen Malice in these street fights in Des Moines. Malice will literally take it to the streets. I mean, this is basically this is Malice's special. Yeah, I mean, any. <laughs> And the crowd letting Gable uh, Galileo know how they feel. <laughs> yeah, there are really no big Gable Galileo fans here, but I appreciate that he thinks he's the king of extreme. Well, here we go. We're getting ready for his opponent, the I, champ. I hope our cameraman's ready to get out of the way for a little bit because no tell. Well, Malice is only bringing the title to the ring. There I he is, guys. A fan favorite, the monster, Malice. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Malice, he has that look in his eye. He's ready. I was talking to Malice a little bit earlier tonight. Let me tell you, he's got some, uh, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. For this match tonight, this could get real crazy, guys. Yeah, I I can only imagine what Malice had on a beautiful shot of what it's all about. The IPW Extreme oh, title. Look at this. Malice wasting oh, no time getting the chairs out right away. Throws them right at Galileo. I think that actually went out of the ring, Ace. <laughs> it did. It went in and out. <laughs> Gable's got to be worried, man. I mean, look at this. He, Malice isn't even there. Look at this. He's going to the ring apron again. I mean, this is. I'd be worried if I were him. That's darn sure. Oh! oh. Gable comes out of the ring and takes Malice out while he's not paying Oh! oh. He uses that chair right away. Oh, you kidding? Oh, good God, man. It is a street fight, guys. We are in for it right now. Another oh. big hit to the back of, with that chair. Big blow. Another big blow by Gable. Good, good plan by Galileo, yeah, though. Smart. I mean, absolutely smart. Get the advantage early. Uh oh. Uh oh. Malice, handful of hair from behind. Oh. He says, No way. You're not going to get advantage on like that on me. Now he's chasing Gable, running for his dear life. Oh, big kick, oh. though, to the midsection of Malice. Big headbutt. Oh. Uh, these two haven't even really been in the ring yet. No, they haven't been in the ring at all. <laughs> Malice having some words for him, asking him to hit him in the head. Oh, oh look at that! Big headbutt by Gable, and he goes out! <laughs> Malice didn't have to do his thing! <laughs> that is the energy of Malice, my friend. <laughs> oh, he drives his head into that ring apron right in the corner there. Has him against the post. Malice goes for a big punch to the midsection. Now we have our competitors in the ring. A Des Moines street fight. The IPW Ooh. street title on the line. Gable quick to get Malice while he's coming through those ropes. Those are those moments you gotta Ooh. take advantage of a man like Malice. Yeah, absolutely. Any advantage that you can take when it comes to Monster Malice, you need to take it. Gable with a chair to the midsection oh. in that corner. Malice in a world of trouble as he big swing by Gable to the back again. That's the fourth shot to the back with that steel chair on Malice tonight. And another one with the edge of that chair. 
cover. One, two, two count. Malice rolls out of that one. It's going to take more than that to put the monster oh, yeah. Malice and, down. Yeah, it's definitely going to take way more than that. This match is just, just getting going. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Gable kind of pulling a page from Malice. Goes for his spear. It, it Almost no takes him off his feet. It has had no effect. And now, now Gable's begging for forgiveness. It had no effect on the Monster Malice. That was incredible. Oh. Another big headbutt from Malice while he's got Gable in that corner. Throws him out. Gable rolls right out to the other side of the ring, which I'd say is smart. Very. Smart I mean, Gable, Gable needs to catch his breath because Malice, here he comes right now. Thankfully, we have our ringside camera here tonight, Ace. Thank God we do. We're not going to miss any of this action as Gable crawls around to the other side, so he's Smart. not in danger zone. But Mal is coming out now. Going to chase him down. Could be, could be a good move. Could be a mistake. We're going to find out. Uh oh, we got some empty chairs right there. Mal is looking to maybe use some of those as he sits Gable down. Gives him a big right hand. Oh, chops him while he's sitting there. Malice, Malice, a little bit of a smile on his face right now. <laughs> that's never, that's never a good sign when you see Malice smiling. <laughs> we got Gable coming around to the other side here. Oh no! Oh no! Malice using that ring post to tie Gable up. Job as Malice silenced the crowd. Oh, Ooh, Gable tries to come <laughs> back and it does nothing. 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 <laughs> how do you beat a man like Malice? Like, how is how is it possible, Ace? Well, that's just it. It's almost near impossible to take care of the monster Malice. Gable's finding that out tonight. He's coming out. What has he got in his hand? I think he's got like a little floaty. <laughs> he's got little, one of those little sound sticks that you blow up and hit. <laughs> no. Gable very much realizing his tactics are not going to work tonight on the monster Malice. He's trying to just get away. Look! Oh, look at that. The monster <laughs> gives the child his toy back. Okay. Uh, very nice of Malice. Very nice indeed. we got to give a shout out to our camera guy, Dylan, as he's following this one tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Malice got it. Gable up on the oh, shoulder, no, look, oh, going no, for the oh, ring post. He comes down, though, and pushes oh! Malice into it. That's going to slow him down. And now Gable has the open door. Can he capitalize? Throwing some elbows to the back of the head. And a big oh! kick right into the belly of Malice while he's sitting on those steps. Seriously, the great work by our ringside camera crew operator, Dylan, tonight. I mean, just getting all, everything we need that we're not able to quite see 100%. Two count as Gable pins Malice with his foot. A little, little cocky. Yeah, very cocky. A little confident. You can't have that attitude when you're in the ring. Oh, especially when just... Or, take that back, not in the ring, but in a street <laughs> fight with the boxer Malice. Especially when just a few minutes ago, you know, he was hitting him to no effect at all. Very true. As he tries to throw rolls back, What's Malice in that ring. He's going under, under the, the ring. ring. What's uh -oh. he got? Another oh, steel God. chair. Nothing good is uh -oh. under the ring. Nothing. Another steel chair. Uh -oh. What is Gable going to do? We got two chairs out there. And <laughs> you, think we're, you, think, you think we're getting the table? <laughs> and and just, just to rub it into our IPW staff here, he puts those stairs on their side again. <laughs> Goes back into the ring. Focus back on to Malice with a kick to the back. He's stalking him, walking around. Malice in, in a bit of trouble here. This is uh, kind of the first time tonight we're seeing him in like actual serious trouble. <laughs> Throws Gable Not off. Gable ducks that punch though and goes with his oh! one. He yeah. takes him out at the knees. Exactly a move you got to do on yeah. a big man like Malice. He yep. goes to the corner, coming back out and a. Ooh, look at that little, little like backstab there. Two count. Two count. Gable Galileo getting creative in the ring. Uh, which is almost hard to do when you have a massive individual like Malice. In well, like you, like you said, this is the first time really that we've seen Malice in any sort of trouble. This is true. Now Malice, though, he's got Gable by the hair, throws a right hand at him while he's in that corner. But Gable comes back with a kick, hops himself up on top there. 
Oh! And oh, look at that! He goes with his feet to the back of the head on Malice. Two counts! Oh! Got the three. Malice able to kick out. Gable getting frustrated. Malice has got to pull something out here, man. Malice has got to do something to get back into this. Title on the line. We've had one a heck of a night so far here. Malice with a chair in his hand. Oh. Right to the midsection there. Putting Gable on his knees. And oh, oh. big hit to the back. Malice starting to <laughs> feel it smiling again. smiling again. He's smiling again. That statistic smile Malice gets when he brings pain on the others. Another big hit to the back with that steel chair. Look at the chair. Chair's all bent a little bit there, and he's gonna go right back at him. Look at this, Malice almost hitting himself in the- Oh! Oh my, oh my god! god! Ah! Oh my god! Gable oh. takes a chair to hit Malice's chair right into his face. And I don't know if Malice is gonna get up off of that. Oh exactly. my god, what, what a last minute ditch effort by Gable Galileo. Brilliant is how I will, I will call that move. It, the impact of that hit of those chairs coming together. Uh -oh. What is he pulling out? Is that, I, that, that's is that a door? door? That's a door. Gable Galileo pulls <laughs> a door out from underneath the ring. Malice is on the other side. He has no idea what's going on. It is a street fight. Was, was he yelling at you there? Ace? I think he was yelling at the crowd because uh, <laughs> neither one of us were surprised that that door came out. It is a street fight. Anything goes. Look at this. Oh, oh, man. What's, that door what's up in Malice the have? What, what's oh, Malice have? Oh, no. Gable not no. Malice what's Malice have? Thumb tap. Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Malice with the bag attacked. He dumps those out in the middle of the ring. Gable doesn't even know because he's sitting there at that door. Uh, uh, Gable. Uh -oh. Gable, you might, you might want to turn around there, Gable. Gable still making his... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He turns around. Malice now showing him his toys <laughs> in the middle of the ring. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh the attack! No! Backdrop right on the oh. attack. Malice has got total control. Gable in a world of hurt right now as he crawls uh -oh. right to the no. corner of the door he set up. The crowd absolutely erupted for that. Oh, my gosh. Gable gets up. He's right in front of the door. Malice across the ring, though. We, can we oh. see it? Here comes Gabe Smith! Oh, he spears him into the door. The, that door was so tough. They need to break two and three. It is. Malice retains the IPW Extreme title in a hell of a fight. Unfreaking believable, Ace. Wow. If you believe what we saw, unbelievable. This what? is why he is the monster of Iowa. Malice. Nothing can keep this man down. The two, the two colliding chairs that got pushed into his face, uh, and, and then he, he somehow comes back. A bag attacks while Gable's oh uh, distracted with his door, and poor Gable Galileo ends up in a pile of tacks and wow. then speared through a door for the Big Al and Malice with a big smile on his face, telling Gable, "Come on back. I'll do uh, it again. Let's run it back." Unbelievable. What a contest between those two. Oh. Malice is still your IPW Extreme Champion. Referee Christian had to get down and out right before <laughs> Malice started swinging that title. And I tell you what, what action so far tonight here at Franklin Junior High School here in Des Moines, Iowa. Impact Pro Wrestling. Malice retains and the crowd loves it. What a matchup that was. What a match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you for joining us. We are going to take a brief intermission after that title match as we get ready for our second half of action here in Des Moines, Iowa, Impact Pro Wrestling. More coming your way in just a minute. And we are back, continuing the action, Jackson King, 
Des Moines favorite, Jackson King, making his he's, way to the ring. He's got a little different style and a different swag to him tonight. A little, yeah, a little new swagger going on for Jackson King. He's definitely got his Des Moines faithful here, as always. Yeah, definitely. Change of venue did not change the Jackson King fandom here in Des Moines, Iowa. Jackson King's had a real big year this last year, his first year in. Yeah, Jackson King is one of the nice, young, up-and-coming superstars here in the Iowa independent scene. I'm kind of curious, man, to see where this new look is going to go for him. Yeah, and we uh, I had talked about this earlier, but this is a huge match. Oh, we're going to get a word from Jackson, maybe. All right, so we had a little special attraction there. Looks like, uh, did I get that right? He's going to be a groomsman in her wedding. Yeah, so right. very, very cool. Very cool. It's running. Very cool. He's uh, got a big task here tonight, though, my friend. This is a statement match for Jackson King, guys, tonight, right? And it, it's it's a match we were supposed to have a couple different times, but because of COVID and everything that's happened, we, we haven't been able to have this match. This match is going to be something. You have Jackson King going up against the longest reigning Impact Pro Wrestling champion. He, he's not the champion at the moment, but he is the longest reigning champion in the big picture. That's right, and here he comes, the big picture. Another big man. You don't want to you don't want to anger. You don't want to get in this guy's way. I'm going to tell him the crowd how he really feels. Once again, great camera work there by our pal Dylan tonight, just getting all the action for us there at ringside. And, yeah, like I said, the big picture is a big, intimidating man, my friend. And, again, statement match for the uh, young guy, Jackson King. I mean, this could be a big win. This can catapult him further up the chain, closer to maybe that title match he's chasing after. If he could put away IPW's longest reigning champion ever tonight here in Des Moines. Absolutely. And you, you would think this would got to catapult Jackson King in the eyes of IPW management to potentially get him into the title picture. Most definitely. Most definitely. It's going to be a tall task, though. Obviously, a size difference between the big picture and Jackson King. He's definitely got his work cut out for him. Time to time to forget all the nice stuff that we just saw with Jackson King and all his uh, supporters here. And it's time to get to business. Bell has rung. The match has begun. These two walking around. Ready to feel each other out. In a match like you got to think Jackson King's going to want to try to get big picture on his uh, at least knees or just on the mat as soon as he can. Yeah. Use that speed. The one thing that you want to do in a matchup like this is get the big chop him down. If I'm Jackson King, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the knees and the legs, and I'm doing everything I can to chop the big man down. We're going to tie up middle of the ring. Big picture throws Jackson King into that headlock. Controlling Jackson King in the middle as he fights to get his arm in there, trying to break that hold. Jackson fighting it. Oh. Big picture just tightens it back in. There's definitely a size advantage here, Ace, for the big picture over Jackson King. I don't think Jackson's going to let that face him, though. 
Jackson looked like he wanted to try to throw a big pitcher off the ropes to try to get him off. He didn't get him off. And now referee Christian breaks them up, and we're going to get this going again. These two are going to feel each other out one more time. Another lock up middle, and oh, look at this wrist lock by the big picture. Just controlling all the tempo right now with Jackson King. Yeah, and you know, again, it's not really surprising just based on the size factor, but oh, here comes Jackson trying to fight out of it. And look at that, reverses it and gets himself his own wrist lock on the big picture. And maneuvers his way into the headlock, and now Jackson King trying to have that tempo, but big picture just picks him up. And pats oh. Jackson on the head in the corner. A little bullying tactic there by the big picture. Jackson looks like he's setting up for something, though. Oh, look at this! Misses that punch, diving over there the big go. picture, able go. to get some kicks in now. Smart. Oh, very smart there by Jackson. What was I just saying? He needs to go for the legs. That's right. Throw his feet into the knees, the midsection, the shins, wherever he can on the big picture who escapes the ring trying to get separated. What's Jackson doing, though? Oh, oh he's oh, right oh, over the top rope oh. outside, taking out the big picture, and this crowd loves it. That's the one thing you got to love about Jackson King, my friend. Whenever he's in Des Moines, the crowd just absolutely loves him, and this crowd is fired up tonight. This kid has no fear throwing the big pitcher's head against the ring apron as he goes back into the ring trying to get away from Jackson King. Again, the crowd really behind Jackson King right now. He's got one, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight, nine. He gets all ten of them. Uh-oh. It almost looks like he did it. Did it. Oh! oh! Drops a big pitcher. He goes for that cover. Oh, wow. Oh. The power of the big picture, Ace. Got a one count right there. Good good idea, though, by Jackson King as he goes in. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Big picture swinging him around as he has Jackson in on his side there. A little side carry. Oh! A little side slam onto the back of Jackson King. Is he is he stretching him out, or is did he was he trying to cover his back? I don't know. There we go. Big picture <laughs> rolls him over and goes in cover on his back again. What is he doing? Oh. Um. I, I, referee Christian telling him, hey, you can't pin him when he's on his stomach. <laughs> I think he might be a little woozy from the spinning and then also getting, you know, hit in the face. Yeah, <laughs> someone might need to ask the big pitcher if he knows where he's at. But right now, still in control on Jackson King as he ties him on those rope. And uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, Comes through geez. with that big body and just throws all of it onto the back and the back of the neck of Jackson King. Little post session for the big pitcher outside. Jackson in trouble in the ring. A man that size is not supposed to move the way he just did. This, this is true. <laughs> Tell him the crowd exactly what he thinks of them. Again, Jackson still down center of the ring as the big pitcher makes his way back into the ring. Right now, just in full control. Jackson's going to need to do something big. Big pitcher goes, throws him against the oh. and a big elbow right to the chin. Put Jackson on his back again. Right now, it just feels like the big pitcher's toying with Jackson King, Zach. Yeah, he really, really does. It really feels like he's, oh, he's just playing big boy at the moment. What he's doing. He really is. And the crowd's letting him know what they think. Jackson crawling, trying to just get distance between him and the big picture. Big picture pulls him up, and a boom. Look at that, a big slap to the face. All the big picture right now. Yeah, he is firmly in control here, more or less just having his way with Jackson King, just pulling him across this whole ring. Oh! We get another big slap to that chest. Oh, another chop again. Oh, but look at this. Jackson King comes out with a kick to the ch uh, middle. Oh. And now he's chopping the big chow in. Chopping that big tree in the corner. Brings him out of oh. another one. Jackson King. Go oh, but look at that. He gets caught by the big picture and dropped on his back on the top of the knee. 
right when Jackson has a little momentum, a little offense going, the big picture just stops it in its tracks. Yeah, that definitely seems to be the story here going on in this matchup, Ace. And every time Jackson gets a little momentum, unfortunately, the big picture is proving why he is the big picture. This is true. And look at this. He, oh, big oh, big whip into that corner. And just Jackson just drops when he hits those turnbuckles. Yeah, that was a whip with force, my friend. And just to get that. That's the power difference of a guy like the big picture. We got another big Irish whip and oh, another hard to hit into those turnbuckles. And Jackson King is he is on an island by himself looking for some help right now. And I don't know if he's gonna get it. And big picture dropping the straps. He's feeling it. Yeah, he's got all the momentum in the world right now. Jackson's gotta get something figured out here. Jackson King and now on top and oh, oh there he's go. throwing some there elbows. Last ditch ever. Big show just oh. big picture, sorry, drops him. Look at that knees to the look at that. No big drop kick. Pushing him kick. into the corner. Jackson King goes for one oh. big splash. He's gonna go for another one. And look at that big picture. Throws oh. him out, but Jackson lands on his feet and miss punch oh. and big kick to the face by the young Jackson this, King. This is the opening Jackson King needed, man. Oh! And Jackson King comes flying over that top rope, dropping an elbow onto the this, big picture. This has been one heck of a matchup. You can see the marks on the back of Jackson King, man. This has been a heck of a battle. Jackson King going up on top. Could be, whoa, oh, but the whoa, big picture whoa, catches whoa, him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And oh, look at that power bomb that was into a, a Boston oh, Crab. That was a last ride Undertaker style power bomb, is what that was, my friend. Huge power up bomb into this Boston Crab submission. Oh. Jackson King in the middle of the ring, desperately crawling to the rope. And he oh, gets Ben. Oh, oh, look at that, though. The big oh. picture just drags him off the rope back to the middle of the ring. Jackson King, man, has a lot of fight in him, and this Des Moines crowd absolutely is getting behind him for it, too. Yeah, and again, he gets oh! the rope, rope break. Chris, referee Christian making that count. Big pitcher's going to have to let him go. Uh-oh, he's not oh, letting him it, go. What's it, going on here? Oh, look at this. Referee Christian yeah. calls for the foul. Big pitcher will not let go of the Boston Crab. We may need some help out here, guys. Look at this. Big picture will not let this go. Jackson oh, screaming help in pain. Look at this. We got T.S. The aggressors coming in. Get some help. No. Oh, my God. The big picture just takes on T.S. Come on. What is going on here? What? Oh, here oh look at this. The, the, the dressing room's coming out. Here comes the boys from the locker room. We got just a decent wild oh. dynamics and the death dealer coming in, and they're all getting the big picture out of the ring. Checking on Jackson King, referee Christian checking on TS the aggressor. And uh, what did we just see? That was uncalled for, absolutely uncalled for on the part of the big picture. Look at this, Troy Peterson, the man of IPW, looking at the big picture, telling him, What are you doing? Get out of here, get back to the locker room. Uncalled for, trying to restore some order, just absolutely uncalled for. And the big picture, look at him as he walks out. He is proud of himself as all these guys attending to TS Unbelievable. and Jackson King. And those guys teamed up just recently with the legendary Cowboy Bob Orton. Just unbelievable. That was... And the crowd loves it. To just again uncalled for despicable actions by the big picture. We'll have to wait and see if uh, Troy Peterson and TS Aggressor bring any punishment to the big picture for that one for touching a an IPW official uh, TS and uh, not breaking that hold. I mean, he could have seriously damaged uh, the the back, the legs, everything. When I, I mentioned shortly before, you can see the battle scars already on Jackson's back. Uh, yeah, you can see he is lit up on the back there as Zeke Dynamics helps him out. Uh, what a hard-fought battle, though. Yeah, absolutely, man. We have, thankfully, you know, that was a great contest, great night of action we've had so far. We have two more awesome matches to come, though. 
This is true. Two more matches to go. The action is not over yet. I can't believe that, though. How That big picture. That, that something's loose in that guy's head. Yeah, that was just un completely uncalled for, man. Completely uncalled for. I hope Jackson King is all right because that was just yeah, that's uncalled for. But you know what? I think we are about to be... But we are about to be. What's the word I'm looking for here, Ace? We're, I don't know what the word is you're looking for, <laughs> but what I know is I am excited for this match. Another IPW legend, as well as this to, guy there right go. there. We are, they are about to grace us with Brandon their presence. The shaky you banks with there the next Joe Mafia making one, his way to the ring. One third of the tag team champions. Man yeah. of the Shank Eubanks. We heard a little bit earlier from uh, the Shank. Well, his uh, buddies there had a match earlier. Look at this, though. Adam Love and wow. Max Chill leaving the ringside area for this one. I give Shanky Baby a lot of credit on that one, my friend. Yeah, well, uh, let's not get too crazy, though. Look this at This match focus, hasn't though. even begun yet. I don't trust the Max Chill Mafia at all, Zach. Shank has focus in his eye, man. But he's coming up against a Des Moines favorite. He's going up against the Boyne favorite. Ugly, ugly is an IPW veteran, and he is also a former IPW champion. Coming out here with the ugly stick, he has the crowd firmly in his in his back pocket. I would say, and yeah, this is going to be a great battle here, my friend. I although look at the Shank, he is focused. I don't know that I've ever seen Shank this focused. That's true. It was about a, almost a year ago, or a couple months shy of it being a year for uh, Ugly making his return to the ring in IPW. Yep. And here we go. Big match against a young, tough opponent in the shank. The fans are ready for this one. I got to tell you, I, there is talk about this match coming in here tonight. Uh, but I feel like there's always talk when the shank's involved. Yeah, there is always. I mean, and again, like you mentioned earlier, yes, he sent away the rest of the Max Chill Mafia but that does not mean they're not far behind. That is true. All right, here we go. Both men in the ring. Referee calls for the bell, and this match is on its way. Ugly versus the Shank. And the Shank just is a mean individual. He really is. The Shank has a bit of a former MMA background behind him, so he's not afraid to grapple, and he's not afraid to ground and pound. And it's such a different style between him and ugly i'm gonna be i'm very interested to see how these two play off each other yeah very much so look at this uh, look at ugly mocking <laughs> the shake in the ring uh, uh, and our the ipw fans getting behind the legend ugly absolutely they are 100 percent behind the man himself and why why not he's a legend here in ipw Shank is not happy with this uh, crowd response. Look at they got a lock up in the middle of the ring. And this match is going. A little bit of a size advantage here for the Shank as he gets pushed in the ring, telling Chris, tell referee Christian that he pulled his hair. Look at this. The hair that is invisible, I suppose. <laughs> I, I give him credit. There might have been a... <laughs> I give Shank credit. I mean, he's trying to do what he's got to do here. I mean, but this at, is, at the same time, that'd be like Ugly saying that the yeah, Shank pulled his hair. This is just crazy. I and mean, if the Shank was even smart about it, he at least say he pulled his beard or something. Like that. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Shank looks like oh, he's telling him he's a cheater. And we got to lock up middle of the ring again. Hopefully, no hair pulled this time. <laughs> Maybe Ugly will say. Oh, oh my God. And now Ugly accusing the Shank of pulling his hair. Smart. Smart. I would propose these guys maybe should do a hair versus hair match, but this is all kinds of crazy. You know what? That is my proposal for the next Des Moines show. Hair versus hair. Ugly versus Shank. I guess the Shank will always look for whatever way he can to win. And there we go. Oh, legitimately have some you. hair getting pulled as Ugly goes for the beard. He heard you, Ace. He heard you. But it's, it's, all, it's all just the, the plan, you know? <laughs> look at this. Ugly with a little roll up on the ground gets a one count. Shank be able to get out of that right away. 
Ooh. Shank goes for that clothesline. Ugly rolls him up again. Two count. Shank kicks out, and Shank looking a little frustrated. Oh, look at that oh. toe drag onto the rope. Shank can he take a bear? Ugly goes under the rope. Oh. Cox back that big right hand and throws it right into the Shank's face. Ugly is having a grand old time right now. And Shank is uh, in a little bit of trouble. Look at that, though. Ooh. Comes back with those big axe hands. Handle to the back. Stop in the back of Ugly now. And, oh, oh, dropping all his weight onto that back of Ugly. And now Sh Shank needs to not... <laughs> Shank needs to not be toying with the crowd. He needs to be staying on Ugly, man. This is where you think that MMA would kick in for Shank, you know? Like, in an MMA fight, you don't stop. You just go until you beat your opponent. A lot of play into the crowd tonight from Shank, but look at this. Full control of Ugly as he drops him on his knee and now scratching him out. Yeah, absolutely, man. This is just... It paid off here, but down the line later in this matchup, he does not... He should... He should Near not, fall from the shank right there. He Ugly. should not be playing to the crowd the way he is. You are correct, Zach. Ugly rolls out, trying to just catch a breather, get some distance in between him and the shank. Shank following him outside, throwing hands to the back and that neck of Ugly. Shank picking up Ugly, and oh, he runs his back right into that ring post. He's going to go for one more, I think. Oh, hits him there, too. Ugly now out on the floor as the Shank takes a little bit of a stroll. Again, Shank needs to be staying on him, though. I know I understand Shank wants a breather, but a, a veteran guy like Ugly, you need to stay on top of him. Yeah, you can't leave a door open for some of these legends who've uh, been here for a good while and the shank you know he's he's still young he's still new here but that was in the reset the count you, you called it that very was smart. smart very smart to go in oh give himself a little bit more time on the outside of the ring look at the shank just throws ugly into the back of that apron right there the shank once again jaw jacking with the crowd yeah, letting though. the crowd know how he feels as he keeps ugly on that ring apron Pointing at the crowd, telling them what's up. This crowd getting behind Ugly. We got that chant going. And Shank throws him back in the ring. I mean, you can't win when you're outside. Yeah, I mean, the only way to win a match, this isn't a street fight like we saw earlier. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission in the inside of the ring. Look at that reverse by Ugly. Picks him up. Oh, oh he oh. couldn't hold on the Shank. The weight of the Shank. Oh, and he's just grabbed. That's the MMA background I'm talking about. The ground and pound. To so the back, too. Focusing on that back and that back and neck area yeah. of yep. Ugly. Uh, Shank uh, zoomed in on that right now. One of, and again, with, you know, Ugly, Ugly attempting to lift him up and failing with it, that, hurt, that does put straight on his back. So for him to kind of target that area is just brilliant by the Shank. Yeah. Yeah. Game plan for sure coming into this match. Uh, Shank focusing on that back in the back of the neck air. High back, high neck area there. Oh! But Ugly able to kick him off. Comes there out we of go, that there corner. We go. And oh! Oh, slam. Uh, Ugly able to get a little offense here. His back is bothering him, though. Drops an elbow on to Shank as Shank's rolling to the ropes. His back is definitely bothering him. Ugly's in some pain right now. Shank is okay. over there, laid out. Oh. Here comes the to Shank. We got a cover. One, two. Oh, no. Look at that. Shank knows the ring awareness, grabs the rope, knows the location he's in. Smart moves right now. Very strategic plan, it seems like we're seeing from Shank tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Again, the Shank, I think, is doing so far a fantastic job against a veteran of the ring in Ugly. Whoa! Oh. Ugly going for it, but gets that's caught in another side slamming it. cover, and it no. is over. And here comes the Max Chill Mafia to celebrate I give their them, boy. I give them credit. I give them all the credit in the world. They did not interfere in this match at all. True. I this is a legitimate win by the Shank. He did not need any interference. 
They put those titles on him, and what a match. Ugly gave it a good try. Shank and Max Chill Mafia, just too much for him. Max Chill Mafia having a great night tonight here at Franklin Junior High, coming away with two big wins and retaining their titles. Max Chill Mafia is a faction to keep your eye on as we go forward here in the year of 2022. These guys setting themselves up for a banner year. Yeah, and they, I mean, Max Chill Mafia retaining their tag team gold earlier. Man in the shank, Eubanks winning big, and here he comes, here he comes. See that, Zach? You see that, Ace? I saw That's why you should be talking about the Max Chill Mafia 24-7. And we just were. We just were at him, love. You know what? Maybe next time we should invite him on commentary with us, and he would have actually heard, hey, you're talking about me for once. I think he just has an issue with you. He really does. But you know what? Oh, well. <laughs> I, I Pat McAfee. I'm not getting in the ring. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm kind of been hold, holding my breath all night, and uh, <laughs> luckily I haven't had uh, my problem come out uh, to the table yet. Yeah. Instead, it's my. Instead, I'm the one that gets whatever. This it, is it, true. Nah. This is true. But it's all right. We got. I've uh, had a great night of action here. Franklin Junior High School, Des Moines, Iowa. Impact Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Are you ready for the main event? Are you ready? Yeah, this is going to be a barn burner, dude. I'm excited. I'm getting like goose bumpy just thinking about this matchup. This is our pal right here, Christian Hansen, referee, killing it all night, just doing a fantastic job. All and right. The belt. This is going to be an awesome match, dude. I'm ready. Bring it out your channel and let the fans know what we got coming in. That is a heavier match. And here comes our first competitor in this ladder match here tonight for uh, the IPW title, AJ Smooth. Another legendary competitor here for IPW, AJ Smooth. If there's anybody that can win this matchup and that knows James Jeffries just about as well as anybody, it's AJ Smooth. Yeah, definitely one of the most feared men in the Impact Pro Wrestling, AJ Smooth. Also one of the smartest men in IPW. I don't know if you remember how he won at one time the uh, Extreme oh, yeah. IPW title at our Hall of Fame show this last July by not, being in the match but not, not being, being in yeah, the match. He snuck in at the very last second and went up and climbed the, climbed the ladder and got the IPW Extreme title. I mean, he is a Triple Crown champion here in Impact Pro Wrestling now. And yeah, it's and I'm interested to watch his strategy for this match because that strategy worked out perfect. And that match had six other competitors in it. This right. only has two. Right, right. AJ Smooth knows how to win the big one. We're getting ready for our next competitor. And this is the guy I'm excited to see in this match. One of a little my, bit of a change of attitude. Yep. But he's one of my, one of our favorite co-commentators that we've had here do commentary with us before. We have not had him here since the change of attitudes. I don't know how it would go, but here he is, Ricky Bronson. Ricky Bronson tonight, baby. New attitude, and this is going to be my title tonight because it's my time. New era for IPW. Ricky Bronson's era. You understand me? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Me, Ricky Bronson's it's time. your night. It's Stand your right. time. There we go. Ricky is fired up as Zach uh, White spit off him. A whole new attitude. Uh, uh, Zach, I said it before. I, I love James Jeffries, and I hope he retains. But I need, a, I need a shower now. You do. But <laughs> this new change in attitude and this intensity that Ricky Bronson has now, he could be the dark horse of this match. Ricky Bronson could surprise this whole crowd tonight. He, he absolutely could. But here comes an IPW legend. Here comes the Des Moines favorite. Here comes the man himself. The chattels can take it away. There you have it, everybody. Our, one of our very good friends, James Jeffries, is making his way to the ring. And then... Oh, there we go. There is our current impact pro wrestling holder making his way out here. 
taking that title from Bryce Jordan, the Golden God, as uh, Double J Lone Star turning out to be James Jeffries, which now has totally erased the can't wrestle in Des Moines clause. Yeah, how shocked were you when you learned that the Lone Star Double J was James Jeffries? I mean, I couldn't be at that show, but when I heard the news that night, because it came to my phone that night, I got the, right off the presses, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it was a surprise. And then I had to answer to Bryce Jordan that next week on our show <laughs> when he said, you knew it was him all along, and I had to say, I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't. Uh, I don't I don't doubt people when they tell me who they are. But. What? I, I thought maybe there was a chance it could have been. He sounded like him. He kind of had the same swagger as James Jeffries did. I honestly thought it was a distant cousin. I didn't think it was actually James Jeffries. Yeah, you know, uh, but here we are today. James Jeffries, our IPW champion. He's uh, playing to the crowd here. All of the fans here love it, Mr. Jeffries. But he, uh, he's he got quite the task when he gets into this ring with A.J. Smooth and Ricky Bronson. And, uh, Zach, I know we're not going to see him on camera quite yet because he's got the, our camera guys working hard on these entrances. But if you look to your right right now, Zach, you'll see all those ladders in the corner for this match here. And this could get insane. As of now, I'm counting at least three ladders over there, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's a one ladder or two under the ring. You never know what's under the ring at a wrestling show. This I mean, Hornswoggle's probably living under there somewhere. Yeah, we saw a door, some chairs, tags, all kinds of stuff under there earlier. There's got to probably be a couple ladders there. And the here bell we go. Has run. As Mark Henry says, it's time for the main event. <laughs> here we go. Okay. What do you what do you think, now, Ace? Of I, this? I know, yeah, I, I I feel I know what you're gonna ask, and I think we're seeing it right now, and that is AJ Smooth, Ricky Bronson having a little conversation together while Jeffries is uh, across the ring from them. But what I was actually gonna say, what do you think of this new attitude by our our well, I guess former friend, because now that it's been all over us, Ricky Bronson? I, it makes me sad. I miss our our, our fun, playful Ricky Bronson, who loved everybody and every everything. But I got to tell you, if, if Ricky Bronson's in the business of gold, this attitude change is maybe what he needed. I mean, yeah, we see. And oh, oh, yeah, oh, we see AJ Smith, Ricky Bronson, hug the team up, but then James Jeffries double clothesline throws Ricky Bronson out. And again, just because they're kind of teaming up now, AJ and um, Ricky Bronson, does not mean they're going to stay that way the whole night. This is true. And it could end up being A.J. Smooth and Ricky Bronson fighting each other off to get up that ladder. At the end, James could be a non-factor uh, if these two oh. have a chance to work together. But right there, Jeffrey throwing A.J. into the corner. The a big elbow. Oh, look at the kip up. James Jeffries is fired up. That he is, my friend. This is going to be an absolute battle for all three of these men. Again, like I said, yes, they're sort of aligned, a Smooth and Bronson right now, but at the end, it doesn't matter. Every man for themselves. Break of the chest in the corner. Jeffries comes charging oh. in. Oh! Ring boards him out of the corner. AJ Smooth on his bottom. Ricky, oh, look at this. So Ricky Bronson. Go. Ricky Bronson, he's got the game plan, and that is he's bringing the first ladder into this match. Yeah, it's always interesting to watch how they use the ladder, Ace, because not only do you use it to climb. And James but, Jeffries just oh, realizing now the ladder's man. there and throws his feet into it. And that ladder just hits Ricky Bronson. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, you're going to use the ladder to climb the ladder and get the title, but you got to use it as a weapon, too. And that, I don't know about you, man, but that can't feel good. No, it can't feel good at all. And that's how I, this match is so dangerous. And look at this. Oh, look at this. A little double team action. Jeffries tries to run up to flip over AJ Smooth. Instead, gets caught up, and Ricky Bronson helps tie him up. And Jeffries is in a bad way right now. That he is, and here's where that little alliance is coming into play, my friend. Oh! Ricky Bronson whipped AJ Smooth across right into Jeffries, and now Ricky Bronson stomping him off the ropes. Yeah, this is just not a great position for James Jeffries. Again, James is a defending champion, but in a match like this, there's no pinfalls, there's no submission. The only way to win is by climbing that ladder and grabbing that belt. And I mean, to be honest, Ricky Bronson and AJ Smooth uh, teaming up to just make Jeffries a non-factor in this match isn't a horrible idea. 
No, it's really not. You got to utilize, you got to, you know, weaken the champ. Because if you weaken the champ, then you go after, you know, your other opponent and you weaken them too. If the champion can't defend himself. Right now, Jeffrey's trying to fight back. Got thrown punches at AJ Smith, but Ricky Bronson pauses him in his spot in his tracks right there. And now Jeffries again on the ropes getting choked out by that middle rope. Uh, Ricky Bronson throwing his knee into there. We got AJ Smooth talking to the crowd. AJ loves to talk smack. Oh, here we go. Ricky setting up that ladder. Look at the strength of AJ Smooth as he holds up Jeffries and walks around for a lap. Does Ricky know you're supposed to set the ladder, ladder up in the middle of the ring and not the corner? There you go. Yeah, right. He slams him down. And, and again, we've got Ricky Bronson, AJ Smooth working together right now to take out James Jeffries. Crowd not liking it, but not a bad plan. But the thing is with that plan is at some point, that means Ricky Bronson and AJ Smooth will have to turn each other's attention on themselves. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because everybody wants to be the top dog here in IPW. Right, and right now Ricky just throwing his boots right on top of James Jeffries off the rope and a big oh! elbow right into the heart of Jeffries. Yeah, I will say it has been great to see Ricky back in the ring though because he was out most of last year with injury, so it is great to see him back in there despite the new turn in attitude. I mean, you know, you're, you're out for so long, your mind starts to wonder, what do you got to do when you come back? What's going to get me into the title picture? How do I become top dog? And uh, we're now seeing what Ricky Bronson's been working on while he was out, and that is a whole new game plan. And right now, him and AJ Smooth are running this show against James Jeffries. Look at this. Both of them have a leg. And oh, no. Look at no, this. no, no, no. Oh, they oh. spring him into that ladder. Jeffries is in oh. a lot of trouble right now, Zach. Yeah, that did not feel good for James. Not at all. It's Hitting a ladder has got to be a little bit different than hitting a table because you're basically just hitting the steel of the Go, of the step, and that can't feel good. Exactly. And now oh! Johnson just whips him into that ladder. He's going to go across the ring. Oh, my God. Did you see the shoulder into Jeffrey's face against that ladder? Ricky Bronson goes up for one more. And he gets it. Oh, my God. I wish we had a speedometer to you know, measure his speed because he just came like a cannon out at James Jeffries. The speed, the power. Jeffries now on the rope. AJ Smooth rake of the back. Jeffries goes to the other ropes. Just needs to get some offense going. Oh, here going. we go. James is rallying behind this crowd. Look, here we go. James is fighting this crowd, getting behind him. AJ on his knees, but look at this. Ricky Bronson uses that big knee into the midsection to slow him down again. Jeffries on the ropes again. AJ Smooth just holding him there, choking him out with his knee while Ricky Bronson throws his weight on his back. If I were Ricky, I'd be setting up the ladder right now while AJ's distracted. It's not a bad idea. And right now we got Ricky. He's going to that corner again, setting that ladder up while AJ Smooth gets JF Jeffries into the corner. And uh oh. And now AJ Smooth removes the ladder from the corner, pointing, pointing to the ropes while Ricky Bronson chopping the hell out of James Jeffries. They've got something planned, and I'm not sure what it is. Look at this. I don't, uh -oh, not, oh, uh -oh. No, no, no. oh, my God. Ricky Bronson whips Jeffries off the rope, and they both use that ladder to just floor him. James is going to be feeling this in the morning. And again, quite the teamwork we are seeing with AJ Smooth and Ricky Bronson. And look at them. They are happy with themselves. How, how long will it last, though, Ace? Well, here's That's the deal. Ricky Bronson yelled at us about it's his time. But it, it, how is it his time if it's also AJ Smooth's time? You got AJ Smooth over here in the corner while Ricky's getting pummeled by James Jeffries. That's right. That's right. Right to the back of AJ Smooth. Ricky Bronson in a stupor as he goes oh. to the ring. Gets a break on the chest. Jeffries getting some momentum back here. And oh! oh. Flips Ricky Bronson over onto the ladder. And he is in some pain as he goes rolling oh. up. Oh! I guess the, 
Look at that statement by A.J. Smooth. Bit of a little uh, modified code breaker is what that was. And now, look at this. A.J. Smooth alone with the ladder. Ricky Bronson down and out outside the ring. Jeffries in the corner on the ground. This could be A.J. Smooth's time. Ricky's got to do something if he wants that title, though. AJ reaching for that go. title. Jeffries with another oh. break in the back. Both men on the ground. Look at this. Jeffries throwing his foot across the throat of AJ Smooth. And now Jeffries climbing the ladder. Could he do it? Could he keep his gold? Oh, look at this. AJ Smooth oh. comes out of that corner quick and takes him down. Ricky Bronson also making his way back into the ring. Big headbutt by AJ Smooth, and now he throws Jeffries right into that ladder. AJ Smooth loved to get himself another taste of gold here in IPW. Yeah, he definitely would. I can't think of anybody, though, who wouldn't love to get a taste of gold. Ricky Bronson looking for his gold. Oh, oh. Oh, just a brutal throw. Jeffries is taking a big hit on that ladder. And we're AJ Smooth leaving the ring. Could be Gil Gunn to get himself another ladder. Ricky Bronson just resting in that corner. He's trying to catch his breath. Jeffries slowly getting up, folding that ladder down. And uh oh, Jeffries with a ladder in hand. Ricky Bronson in the corner. And boom! Oh. Ricky Bronson taking all of that top ladder to the midsection. And look at this. Jeffries. Lays that uh, ladder on the side of the ring, kind of out of the way, but I don't think he noticed AJ Smooth coming in with another ladder, though. What is he doing? Look at this. Look at this. You see that? Jeffrey's trying to, to suplex uh, Ricky Bronson over the top rope onto that ladder, but Bronson stops him, and now AJ Smooth just driving his foot into Jeffrey's while Bronson throws some steps there. And Jeffries out of the ring. It is Smooth and Bronson. Is this where we see them go at it, Zach? We, it has to be. Once AJ realizes what, what Ricky's doing. Is this where the tide changes? They're going to work together to get this ladder set up, but only one can climb. That's... Uh, I, th I think our guys are having a little trouble with that ladder there, Zach. Now they got there it. There we go. They're, in in their now, defense, in their defense, those kind of ladders are hard to right, put but, together. But, but yeah. now, who climbs up to get the title? Uh, Ricky goes up right away. AJ does now notices it and says, "Hey, hang on, hang on." There we go. See, smooth pulling Ricky Bronson off the ladder, telling him, "No, no, no." <laughs> This is what happens. You take, you, you, you make amends, you become a team, but in a triple threat match, only one guy wins. Yeah, James is trying to regain his, you know, strength and, oh, and just falls right back down. Yeah, Jeffrey's outside struggling. And here we go. It there is we broken go. down. We now are finally seeing AJ Smooth and Ricky Bronson throwing hands at each other. First time in this match, these two have attacked one another. Look at this. We got a little guy helping Jeffries get back to the ring <laughs> as these two are battling it out. Look at this. Bow right hand, right hand, elbow, elbow. We said from the start of this matchup, Ace, that those two were not going to be, you know, lasting partners. They were only going to be that cohesive unit for so long before that that moment was going to come where only one could go up the ladder, and now Jeffrey's getting pulled back into the ring by AJ Smooth, but he goes back to Ricky Bronson, who is in the corner. And now look at this. He's got both eight. Oh, look at this, though. Jeffrey's getting, oh, and meeting the James Jeffries sends the heads of AJ Smooth and Ricky Bronson into each other, moving that ladder out of the way. Jeffries taking a world of, of, oh, of pain, and now he is getting back that momentum. That spinning punch to both men, and now Jeffries got that ladder in hand, and look at this. A little, little tilt-a-world action with oh, the ladder taking oh. both the men out, and he's still spinning. Rob Bronson down, Smooth oh. down. Bronson down again. Taking out AJ Smooth again. And throws that ladder outside onto the apron there. Getting that one out of the way. Jeffrey's still just dazed, but he's fighting as hard as he can to keep in this match. Both of those men down. Jeffrey's going up. Look at this. 
Could Jeffries get the title? Here we go. Now's his time. Here now, we go. Do it, James. He's going up. AJ Smooth stirring, though. And oh! oh! Blow by AJ Smooth to James Jeffries. Oh! And oh, slams him down. And all three men on their backs. AJ Smooth coming back to his knees, though. We got Ricky Bronson rolling around a little bit. James Jeffries rolling around a little bit. But these three men are in pain. That they are. They are all going to need to visit the chiropractor here this week. Ricky Bronson, though, looks to be the first to get back to his feet as he's pulling himself up by the ladder. Look at this slow climb, but no one's really there to stop him. Could Ricky Bronson get his hands on that title belt? Not if AJ Smooth has anything to say about it. Yep, there we go. AJ Smooth getting up there. Both men climbing up. And they're fighting it out at the top of the ladder. Look at this. So Jeffries, he comes in. He pushes that ladder over. Both men get hung up on that top rope. This is the opening James needs here, Ace. Jeffries has to make a move for that title belt right now. He has to try to make him climb up this ladder while he can. Both of these guys are down. And Bronson's out of the ring. Jeffrey's climbing. He's got he's it. Oh! Up. AJ, AJ pops up, takes him down. Throws James to the side. I thought James had it there. AJ Smooth, he, he's bleeding. He is cut open, but he is climbing. And look at this one. Uh, AJ climbing. Smooth. James is playing the turnbuckle, though. Yeah. Jeffrey's on the top rope there. And look at that big oh! axe handle to the back of AJ Smooth off the top rope. He falls down. Jeffrey's trying to get on that ladder. Ricky Bronson getting to his feet as well. And now Bronson pulls Jeffrey's down. But, oh, kick to the midsection. And look, oh! look at that. Oh! Jeffrey's off the ladder. This could be it. Incredible maneuver by James. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah! Jeffries is your winner and retains the IPW Championship. Unfreaking believable. This crowd is going insane. Unbelievable, man. What a matchup. What a night of action. We end it with this amazing triple threat ladder match. All three of these men can be proud of what they did tonight, but James Jeffries coming away champion. He's going to hold on to that belt a little bit longer, and these fans are okay with it. Incredible, dude. Just incredible by everybody that participated in this matchup. Hopefully everybody came out okay, but just incredible. Incredible indeed, Zach. James Jeffries, your IPW title holder. Well-deserved in this match. You got to remember, this first half of this match, these guys literally took James Jeffries out of the equation. Yeah, you didn't think he was going to have a shot at all, but tides changed. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Great matchup. Great card here tonight. James Jeffries is still your Impact Pro Wrestling Champion. That is he is. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another night of action here, Impact Pro Wrestling. We thank every each and one of you. We look forward to the next one. Make sure you check out Impact Pro Wrestling online for all the upcoming shows. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you follow them. Make sure you support all of these wonderful, talented wrestlers that we got to see tonight. Make sure you check out Zach Takes and Shotgun Wrestling Radio. I am Big Ace, and it's been a pleasure. Make sure you guys check out the Two Count Tuesday nights on Twitch. And again, we'll see you soon here at Impact Pro Wrestling. Good night, everybody.